Hey guys, I'm Lockie Paul, and this is my 79 series. I've pretty much custom built this thing from the ground up, and I painted it myself, so it come up pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a real nice metallic in it, and I thought, how's this thing gonna go in the bush? Because obviously I like four-wheel driving, and I like getting into the rough tracks. So then I come across these guys, or girls I should say, and I decided I'd give this Cape kit a go. Probably my two biggest tips for installing it yourself are make sure it's slippery enough. So best thing to probably do is it comes with a little test piece and just use that and make sure your mix is slippery enough and just work it out on that before you actually start. Just make sure you take your time in the initial alignment. Um, once it's aligned up good, it's not hard. You, you just tack off a couple of corners, get it nice and stuck, and then squeeze it all out. But the, yeah, the hardest part probably of it is just aligning it, um, and the rest is pretty straightforward from there. Well, I found last time when I was doing it, a good way to peel the backing off is to just spray down nip on it, and then lay it on there, and it sort of sticks to it and holds it in place, rather than trying to awkwardly hold this and peel it all off. Fairly easy to see where it lines up with the cutouts. Gives you a rough idea where to put it. And then you basically go around the edges and try and even it all out. As long as you've got enough spray on there and it's slippery enough, it's really easy to move around. Last time I done this, I actually didn't even have the proper squeegee. I just used a credit card. So this is a bit more professional. It was like, I need to do this right now. Probably the hardest part of it is just lining it up at the start, which really isn't that hard. It just depends how particular you are to how good you want it to look for how long it takes. I, I could have just slapped that on there and it would have been pretty good and said that's close enough, but I mucked around for a little bit just to try and get it perfect. And pretty well, once you wipe it down, it's when you can check for bubbles. I've got a couple of little ones just here, but hopefully they shouldn't take too much to fix up. Looks pretty good, pretty well. If you have any kind of issues, as far as the bubbles or basically anything I'm saying here, it's not hard to contact the Bushwraps team and they'll give you some tips or any advice you need. Like they're pretty good that way. Yeah, well last time I'd done this panel here, I had a couple of little problems with this corner and I think it was more the alignment of it. And basically to fix it, I just gave it a little bit of heat with a heat gun and tried to push that out. So. We can always just trim it a little bit, like it's everything's fixable. When you get your bush wraps kit, they actually give you a link to a video for your actual individual car on how to install it. So if you're not confident with just getting in and giving it a go, um, I actually watched the videos before I done it, just so I had a bit of an idea. But it's not as hard as it looks. I'll probably make it look easy, but it's definitely not hard 